Welcome back, my name is Teddy, and life skilling may have just become fun for you again. Or a complete nightmare. With the new artifacts and light stones being thrown around in the game like little tiny gems of joy, if you can find one. Or if you're like me, you're now collecting them like Thai Beanie Babies back in the early 90s. Let's get into what they are and how to start collecting them. Cethra's artifacts are the new life skill artifacts that can increase individual or general life skill experience or life skill mastery depending on which ones you have. These can be equipped like any piece of gear. To place a light stone into your artifact, right click the light stone, which will bring up the new artifact UI. <laughs> Simply assign a light stone to the artifact where you want it to be placed. To remove a stone, head to any blacksmith in any major city and buy the new light stone extraction tool. These can be removed like any gem. These artifacts and light stones have major bonuses which can be pushed further if set up in certain combos, like the Yawning Hedgehog combination effect that gives gathering item draw rate plus 10%, gathering experience plus 10%, gathering mastery plus 20, gathering plus 1, and energy recovery plus 1. Bruh. There is an artifact and light stone for each life skill, and the combinations are great, but how do you get them? During this event, only, killing mobs and life skilling has a chance to drop items called event imperfect crystals. These can be turned in for requests to receive 10 purified life stones. Sethra's artifacts can be obtained by all types of life skilling, excluding using the shovel and barehanded gathering. This means fishing and even turning in the fish to the Imperial Fish Delivery NPC, Imperial Alchemy, and cooking, gathering, trading, and even farming. Imperfect Laura light stones are rare drops while life skilling. And when I mean rare, these things drop rarer than the love that Pearl Abyss gives us in life skilling and can be bought from the central market. These have to be purified either having Guru 1 using 10 black gem fragments, 10 weapon or armor black stones, 50 powders a time, 50 pure powder reagents, and 1 in perfect flora lightstone to create a purified lightstone of flora. If alchemy isn't your thing or it's too low, you can turn in one in perfect lightstone of flora and two 100g gold bars to Dalashan in any major town to get one purified lightstone of flora. When used, the purified lightstone will randomly give you any life skilling lightstone minus the iridescent Ooh. lightstone. These can be dropped in the grind spots in the new Winter Mountain Zone coming. Dark Rift bosses, world bosses, field bosses, guild raids, boss summon scrolls, and if you're unlucky like me, the central market is the last way being a billion per stone. But now, let's talk about speeding up getting these stones and artifacts. While making my newest episode on my series where I show you guys how I make money, I gathered all day and managed to get two gathering mastery artifacts and eight imperfect light stones of flora. The higher your mastery, the more item drop rate increase buffs you use means the more stones, right? Well, yes, but it's still RNG based. Comment down below and let me know if you guys are having an easier time than me or if you guys are searching for a way to find these light stones faster. I am curious. For artifacts, it can be easy or longer depending on your luck. While turning in Imperial Deliveries, you will have a chance to be rewarded with a bonus quest. This gives you the chance to get a Shikar artifact for life skills. So, handing in the limit has a chance to give at least one of these bonus quests. Multiple farms makes it easier to have a chance to obtain the farming artifact. and. There are some ways to find my stones easier while gathering. These are the ways I've tried, and so far, I've gotten a nice collection. Oh, yeah. Find meat, hide, or blood from the elk here in Bear, or Sheep Mountain here, mining stones in Pilgrim Haven here, 
chopping trees here in Trent, and hotspot fishing. I'm sure you can obtain these while cooking and using alchemy. I'm not sure. I have not found any. What? These places are great since there are high densities of materials, meaning more drop rate. As more stones start flooding the market, it will be easier to make those artifacts just the way you guys want them. But if you guys want to see how to level up your life scaling, go ahead and click this playlist here. I shall see you guys in another Black Desert Online Guide.